Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Now, this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to change the lights or the effects on the Ducky One Too Mini. This is the pure white version. It's a very nice keyboard. It doesn't actually flicker. It's very nice. Okay, so... So, if you just got this keyboard, uh... Of course, you want to plug it in, and then you should have two lights pop up. And it will just go to, this is the normal effect mode, like rainbow. Every keyboard has it, I think. So you can, you can, it's like normal. You can just press FN, Alt, and to speed it up, you can use L, make it faster. And then to slow it down, you can press, or oh, FN, Alt, J. And so, this is just the normal first effect that I have it on right now. So, to change your lighting to a different like uh, set, you just do F and Alt T, and it will take you to like this mode where it goes like green to like it just cycles through all the colors of the rainbow. It's like. And you can speed it up just like how you did on the first one, F N O L. Just keep tapping it. And it'll get decently fast. And then next mode, you just keep going F N O T. Oh, F N O T. This is like a like I don't know how to describe it, it's like a raindrop mode. So like it's just random colors that like drop on your keyboard or change on your keyboard. It's like nice. I, I, I'm not a personal fan of it, but yeah, you go F and Alt T again, and this is like a ripple mode. So I, if I, I can press like H and it'll just ripple out. So it'll just keep doing that on every key you press. You can change it faster and slower if you go F and Alt and then L, it can get really fast, and then F and Alt J gets really slow so next mode is FNLP and then you have this uh, like just single key light up color changing so it will slowly fade away and then you go to next mode FNLP uh, this one, it's like, it fades away really slowly, so like, it'll just fade away. You can change the color by going F and Alt, space bar. You pick for any of these. I kind of like white, too. It's a pretty nice keyboard. Or well, pretty nice lighting. T, F and Alt, T. This is like the same, but you press one key, it goes all around. And it only does it on one key, and it'll just, it's just like that. You can change the color by it too, by the same way. And then if you go F and Alt T again, this is just like a backlit mode that won't change. You could change it on all the other modes. I said you could change with F and Alt spacebar. You could also use Z, X, and C. Any color com you want, then you can do F and Alt T again. This is like a breathing mode, so it goes light up and then it goes down, and then you press F and Alt T. This is like a radar mode. You can make it slower. You can change the color again by F and Alt Z, X or C or spacebar, and make it like pink. And then F and Alt T. This is just off. And then F and Alt T again. You have your back to rainbow. Um, you can actually play games on this keyboard too. Just again, F and Alt. You can do it's right next to M. And this is the game where like you have to pick the right ones, and hopefully you get it right. Oh, 
that one. Yeah, that was all. So um, to restart it, you just press F and Alt T, and then F and Alt this again. There's also another game where you can go F and Alt M, and it's like this mine sweeping game, I think. You press the space bar, it gets slower. This is just like a fun game that you can do when you're bored. I don't know what the purpose is of it is though. So then go back, F and Alt T. And then if, so I have it, I have a preset to like the color you want. So you pick the key, you pick the color. So I have it as like that. And to get to it, you can go FN, Alt, and then uh, Caps Lock. And these two will add up, like CM1, CM2. If you go to CM1, hey, let me do this, that is. I was not prepared. So your caps lock, you can press it, it'll go ZXC. So the color of your caps lock will be the color that it puts. So like that's like yellowish, pink, so um, you just pick the key you want, let's say like W A S D uh Q O E Q one two three four five six R T and anything you want really. And let's say you want the other side a different color, you can also do like um ca caps lock space bar, another one. You can do like blue for example. And then to save it, you just press caps lock and then shift. And then whichever one you did it, like CM1, you can do FN Alt D. And it'll change to that color, but my key's kind of. Or you could do FN Alt B, which is a different one I did. Yeah, it's green. And you just go back to your normal one. Um, really, this keyboard. I, I really like 60% duck key because look, go from the underside. Here, I'll turn off the RGB. Now turn on my lights. So if you can see it, under you have like your mouse and all that, like CM1, CM2, that's what I was talking about. You have uh, like volume button, and to access it, you just press FN or Control. Or yeah, just FN, and then like you can do like if you're on like an Xbox, for example, if you're trying to like move around like on your homepage, it's these. And yeah, you have your F1, F2, and F F1 to F12. If you just press FN, that's how you access it the V and all your other function keys that you would need on a normal like TKL and last this keyboard is uh, very like, very well made you do have some flexing and side flex but you have to try really hard and on the bottom you have your your switches that you could do for different modes and you have stands so like you have zero stands and then you have the first stand and then the second stands so really this keyboard I would highly recommend it this also comes in a white mode it's or a black mode sorry goes in a black mode there's the frozen llama mecca and it's there's a lot of different keyboards so um, if you're looking for it i'll put if you're looking to buy this i'll put the link in the description and that's all peace out